Greetings everyone, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to access the cord rewind or the cord itself. So first, you gotta take the canister off, just like this. It's pretty easy to do, however, this is the annoying part, and it's the fact that I have to keep these wires here where they are. This is important. So I believe the next thing that pulls off, because it doesn't seem like this wants to come off, I believe the top comes off on these. I haven't worked on these in a while. Two, three, four. So it took about four spins to wind this up. So from here, it's completely flat. See, it does not want to rewind itself. And so I believe this should be the point you're at where it's dead. Your spring should look like that. And how you replace this, which I will go through this for other people and not just my friend here. There's two screws under here. This plate cover thing comes off. And then you can pull the entire rewind out and then replace it. button goes right in here, spring pushes down and then push that there, check it, make sure it works, it works. So now, at this point, you want to take your plug, loop it through here, and make sure it goes through, and then just put this back on and make sure you screw it in. But I can't show it on camera, which the wires go in here, and then and then pop that back into place. It should look like that. And then your two screws in the top there, right here. Something I forgot to mention is if you look at the screw size right shown right here, you'll see these two are actually smaller than this one. I'm gonna use the other Bissell motor that I have with me, which is a different style, but it still works nonetheless. To show what I'm doing. I also broke the tab off right here, as you can see, it actually lets you see if the motor is switched on or off. Now this just kind of rocks back in up here. Not very easy to get that in, that's for sure. It's a whole lot easier when your motor isn't in the way because I can't unwire this motor because I wire nutted and electrical taped the wires together. We'll flip it up. You don't want to worry about any of that yet unless I say, but you want to put in these screws up here. First, which will be a premiere, will be of me fixing that clean view that my friend is going to hopefully give me. I don't know why I just said his name. I'll just blur that out. But, uh, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> and I'll uh, leave that out. But my friend over at Highway Dreams for the Vacuum Geek. I'll put this in. screws go into them but then on the same side oh no I'm not going to do wait so there's two screws down in these wells down here I'm going to get those in and on the exact same part on the other side that screw so, same spot on the other side
behind, no problem. Now, we'll also want to make sure that you plug it in and test it to make sure you don't break the cable. Like it if you did enjoy it, just like it if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe for more content on YouTube, hit that bell so you don't miss that content that I put out on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.